Hello everyone, I am um, really excited to have uh, with me Mr. R. Gopal Krishnan, uh, the CEO of uh, Mindworks and uh, ex-director of Tata Sons. Uh, great to have you here sir. And uh, today's uh, interview will be on uh, digital and digital disruption. So let me get this started uh, with your uh, definition of what digital actually means. Uh, every time I ask this question to senior leaders, I get varied answers. Um, so I'd like to understand from your perspective, what does digital actually mean? Well, for me, uh, digital really means uh, taking any piece of information or data, voice, pictures, they're all, in, my, in, the, in the context of our discussion, they're all data, and breaking it up into little parts, which the techies call bytes, and uh, then they lose their identity. So you put a little tag on it and then you can mix them up and make an aviel out of it. Yeah. An aviel for those who are listening and don't know is a mixed vegetable with a nice uh, uh, buttermilk uh, sauce. And that's exactly what digital does. Digital actually breaks up. It, it is doing to data what containers did to cargo. Okay. So if you go back 50 years and say container, the first reaction was oh, it's a box. But by putting it into boxes, and being able to deal with the container as a module of transportation, you change the whole way in which the world moves things around. Yeah. And digital is exactly that. Yeah. It's a containerization of data. Okay. To me. Right. And then obviously on top of the container, you're doing some amount of processing. Something else gets added on top of it, uh, which gives a lot of meaning to what the data uh, Well, a lot of, if you are, talk to a logistics guy, he will tell you the container is not just a box. Yeah. He's got lots of intelligent stuff sitting on top of the box. Right. And he keeps track of those things. Yeah. And therefore, sitting in one place, he's able to tell you where the cargo is, what is happening, when it might arrive. Sure. And that's the marriage, if I may say so, of uh, digitization and containerization. Okay. And digitization is like a beautiful bride. Yeah. Uh, and she marries many people. It's yeah. the Draupadi of technology. And therefore, there are lots of people, uh, and I say this not in any uh, pejorative sense, but in a uh, sense of uh, imagination and narration rather than a commentary on Draupadi or sure. anything else. Sure. So, digitization is one of the most exciting things that's happened yeah. uh, to technology. And if I think back, there are lots of exciting things that have happened in the last 50 years I have experienced. But I'm going back to one of the oldest ones, containerization probably started about the time I began my career. Okay. So I just thought I would take a physical analog containerization and compare it to data digitization. Wonderful. So you're saying uh, data is at the, at the crux of this whole digital story and a lot of people are saying data is a new oil. Uh, yeah, people say data is a new oil, but that is, I presume, those who say that intend to state that data will make big money. I presume that's where their comment is coming from. Yeah. Uh, which it might, I'm not disputing, that it can make big money. But I don't like uh, uh, to think of it that way. I'd like to think of data in a way which uh, common people can relate with and understand. Yeah. Therefore, I use the other metaphor. But data oil is also okay. a modern contemporary rendering. Sure. I doubt if you start, stop a guy on the road, Pandu on the road and say, do you know data the oil? He'd say, I don't care for either. Right. But if you tell him data is like a container, I yeah. think even my my cook or my driver will say, oh, I understand. Sure. It's something physical. Physical, he understands. Something relatable. Yeah. Okay. And in the same breath, what is digital? What is it not? Uh, there are a lot of myths around digital. Uh, so while we spoke about what is digital, <laughs> what is it not? You know, uh, for me, uh, Digital is like oxygen, it is there everywhere uh, and it's in the viewer's eye to say this is also digital yeah. because it's an influence, it's an ingredient yeah. in many things. Yeah. So if you say cars are digital, it doesn't mean that uh, 
there is a small bit of a bite which is moving around. It says cars are enabling, uh, but digit, uh, digital is enabling cars. Yeah. Cars are uh, being enabled by. So there are lots of things from containers, cars, health, yeah. which are being enabled by digitization. Yeah. Even the intersection of biology and information technology is enabled by IT, but yeah. it's really biology. Right. And therefore, there is a proclivity to think of digitization as all pervasive. Okay. In one sense, it's true. It's like oxygen is all pervasive. Yeah. But everything you touch is not oxygen. Yeah. If I bring you a cylinder of nitrogen or petroleum gas, uh, you can't call it oxygen. Yeah. But without oxygen, it doesn't come to life. Yes. Uh, in a way, people can use. Right. And that's what digitization does. Okay. I find it to be the oxygen yeah. rather than the oil, yeah. uh, which is all pervasive. Okay, that's a great way of looking at it. And there have been many different themes in the last few years um, that we've spoken about. SMAC, which is social media, mobility, analytics, and cloud. And VUCA uh, is, is another keyword that is, uh, that is doing the rounds. Um, when you think about digital, is it yet another trend like that or is it something more? Well, uh, it is both, to be honest. Uh, sometimes it becomes a buzzword, and a buzzword is not a bad thing per se. But if it just stays a buzzword, yeah. uh, then it dies an early day. Yeah. This one is here to stay. Uh, because of the metaphor I used, it is changing the way air flows in the world. Yeah. Using the oxygen yes. air metaphor. And so while it might appear like a buzzword, it is not a buzzword. It is fundamentally uh, changing the way we look at things, the way we interact with things, the way we experience things, and the way we think of things. In the future. Yes. Yes. And therefore, uh, it is far beyond a buzzword. Yeah. Okay.